I'm so excited to talk to you about Eisenhower Medical Center's new initiative, Becoming a Teaching Hospital. It's exciting for all of us and all of those that you're about to hear from. Well, the reason that I personally and the board and Eisenhower as an organization wants to be a teaching hospital is it does several things that I think will really uh, benefit the community and benefit our patients. One is, um, it's a farm club for new young doctors. And the Valley really needs uh, a dependable, reliable source of new young physicians. And there's a lot of evidence that um, if physicians train in a particular medical center and have a good experience, that a good percentage of them stay there. So that's one benefit. Uh, the second benefit is I think it just creates a climate of continuous learning for the organization. Um, because when you've got a house staff, they're always asking questions. Uh, they're saying, well, I didn't think anyone did it that way anymore. Um, why aren't we doing it this way? So I think not only amongst the members of the medical staff, but nurses, respiratory therapy, everybody in the organization, uh, you have to be at the, really at the top of your game if you're a teaching hospital. It's now become a, a regional and national and international medical center. Uh, and that vision started with the founders, that this should be a very special institution and it should be a leader in medicine, not a follower. If we had our founders here with us now, every one of them would be very proud of what we're doing now. Many years ago, when I first joined the Board of Trustees at Eisenhower, it was a dream of the board and the executive committee to change uh, Eisenhower into a teaching hospital. The reason being is that we saw the future coming to us, and we saw that the valley was going to grow, and we saw the elderly uh, were going to make up a large part of our community and that doctors would become more and more scarce. This is an area that has been, has seen significant growth in recent years, uh, significant change in the demographics. Here in La Quinta we see a younger patient population, more young families, and as we hope to attract more young families to the area, we experience even more the shortage of primary care physicians to meet those needs. Being a teaching hospital means that we'll be training the next generation of primary care doctors. But even while we do that, it allows us to improve the quality of care even further. When you have teaching programs, we're able to recruit higher levels of faculty. We have many doctors here who will be faculty. And when you have multiple people involved with the care of the patient, asking questions, thinking about the case, we know the quality of care is better. The great thing about Eisenhower becoming a teaching hospital is that it will be equal to UCLA, USC, and Stanford as far as quality is concerned. You will have the best doctors here because we are a teaching hospital. You get the best medical care, the best research, up-to-date research. And so people will not have to go to a large city to get quality medical care. They can get it right here at Eisenhower. Eisenhower School of Graduate Medical Education began with our affiliation with the University of Southern California, the Keck School of Medicine. And we have medical students who have been coming now for two years to learn primary care, family medicine and internal medicine. And that's going to increase. We plan to have as many as 12 students every month on our campus. And that will happen before our residents begin in July 2013. When I first heard about the affiliation of Eisenhower and USC, I was so thrilled. I knew how important it was for Eisenhower to become a teaching hospital, and the fact that it was going to be with USC was such a thrill for me. The two institutions that I loved were coming together. Recently, we received our accreditation for the internal medicine residency. We achieved the maximum accreditation possible, which is three years and for all of our positions in internal medicine. Um, this exceeds what my wildest dreams would have been going into it, and I'm very pleased with the reaction of the faculty and the institution and what they've been able to achieve in a very short period of time. 
We believe that we're delivering the best primary care in America, if not the world. We have a model of primary care where we're not rushed with patients. We spend all the time that's necessary. We do a lot of online communication, remote care with patients. Uh, we're dedicated to delivering the best possible service. The students see that and they've not seen it before. We very much hope that many of our residents upon graduation will stay in the Coachella Valley. As a matter of fact, we're going to select them with that in mind.